Numerical Methods for Engineers, Problem 5.18. The saturation concentration of dissolved oxygen in fresh water can be calculated with the equation APHA of 1992, where we take the natural log of OSF is equal to negative 139.34411 plus 1.575701 times 10 to the 5th all over t to the a minus 6.642308 times 10 to the 7th all divided by t of a squared plus 1.243800 times 10 to the 10th all over t of a to the cube minus 8.621949 times 10 to the 11th all over t to the a to the 4th where o sub s of f is equal to the natch to the saturation concentration of dissolved oxygen in fresh water. T of A is the absolute temperature in Calvins, and T of A can be calculated by taking the temperature in, in Celsius plus 273.15. So, here is our range of Celsius, our range of degrees in Celsius. Here is our OSF equation. And let's look at a plot of the OSF equation. As you can see, the higher the temperature, the lower the OSF is. So let's get rid of that plot now. Here is our modified OSF equation where we are looking for a certain degree of OSF. So the first one that we were looking for is OSF of 8. So we subtract a log of 8 from the original equation and we'll plot that here and put that into our bisection equation which is down here. And when the bisection finds zero, we should have our correct uh, degrees Celsius that we we're looking for. So let's run the equation. Here's our graph at 8 OSF. The green line's approximating zero. So, X of R is 26.78 degrees Celsius at an OSF of 8. Let's check our answer. So we have an OSF of about 8 and a degree Celsius about 26 and we are correct. So let's go back to our equation and change it for the next value of OSF which is 10 run our equation note that we have the bisection equation going out through 23 iterations to get the maximum degree of least percent error on the computer and here we have our graph and our approximations for 10 OSF if we type in x of r, we get 15.38 for 10 OSF. Let's look for 10 OSF here. And yet again, at 10 OSF, 
we get 15 degrees Celsius. So that's also a very good result. Now let's run it for 12 OSF. Here we have our graph for 12 OSF, our approximation to our correct temperature in Celsius. So let's type it in. So at 12 OSF, we predict that we get 7.4652 degrees Celsius. Let's check our chart. So at 12 OSF, we get about 7 degrees Celsius, or 12.12, .12, so our calculation is correct. And that is it for problem 5.18 in numerical methods for engineers.